Yeah, what's good? Um, it's your boy P to the B, aka P Breezy. You guys can follow me at um, PB the Producer on Twitter. Um, you can also go to uh, PB the Producer dot blogspot dot com, and uh, you'll find some 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 great ass music there. But um, what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial on how to um, sample. Um, now I know that a lot of people are familiar with the Fruity Loops program FL Studio 9 and uh, you know some some big time producers have used it most famous known is um, Ninth Wonder um, who has been very well known very well cited for using Fruity Loops for uh, his production now um, I understand that there's a lot of different ways that you can sample with Fruity Loops. I'm just going to show you my way and um, if you like it, use it and if not, then do however you know you want to do. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to make sure that we have our um, browser window set up. Alright, now traditionally, um, you know, it's a smart idea to set up a folder and uh, you can edit that path by going to your um, file settings and from there just locating where you keep your samples at um, you can click here to add a new folder and then just go through um, and find where your uh, folder where you would like to keep your samples at now um, some people use uh, third-party programs in order to chop their samples you know like I said to each their own alright now I'm gonna go with a uh, I'm gonna go and basically try to find a sample and um, hopefully I actually have something up here All right. just making sure I have the sound now, um, yeah, as I said, we need a sample, so, alright, so we're going to take that chop right there, alright, now, I right click this, as you can see, and then you're just going to go to Fruity Granalyzer channel, alright, the reason why I like Fruity Granalyzer channel, uh, channel is because uh, you have a lot of options here, um, you can do a lot of things to manipulate the sample, and, it just has its apparent advantage. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to keep it on the plugin window. You're going to go to pitch, the key to pitch. You're actually going to cl um, click on the step. Now, you can adjust it by pitch. You can adjust it by transient. You can do it by percent or step. I like to use step just because, um, you know, it just gives me that ASR, that ASR 10 fill. And you can really just map out your samples that way. Now, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Sampler, the Sampler channel that's right next to the plugin. All right, now I'm going to click on this button right here. I'm going to click on Auto. Okay, it's different options. Um, I could explain it now, but I really don't feel like it. Now here I'm going to go to my tempo. Now let's say I want my tempo on a typical rap beat, which would be about 92 BPM. I'm going to go there, alright? Now, I'm going to click on this button right here. This is called the time. This is time stretching right here. This is the thing that makes um that makes this particular plugin very useful. I'm going to click on that time plugin, and I'm going to click on one bar, okay? Now, this is what you understand, that you have to know how to chop samples already. Chop samples in, and chop it into how many bars you want it to be, alright? Now, here's what it's going to do. This is the original sample. And this is the updated sample. Now, what I successfully have done is um, adjusted the sample to the um, tempo of the song, which is 92 BPM, without compromising the pitch. Now, you're going to hear a little garble, you know, but um, for the most part, it's going to give you a pretty clean sound. Now, you guys remember when I clicked on that plugin window? Here's the real cool part. Now, 
I'm just going to type on my little keyboard here. And now, one shot, it's not even one shot, it's, um, you know, it's um related to how long you hold the sample for. Now, this is the advantage that it has, because you can play it from any part of this step in the sample, and it'll play all the way through. Or you can play it from here. Now, as soon as you let it go, you know, the sample ceases to play. Alright? Now, you go to your uh, piano window, and now you can just do just stupid stuff. Now, like, if I want to adjust the, the speed, you know, make it even slower, what it's going to do is, it's going to ask me, do I want to restretch the sample? Of course I want to. Alright, now, I'm going to go back here. Now, let's say uh, I want to adjust the pitch of it. You know, because some people like to do that. I'm going to click on this pitch wheel right here. And I'm going to adjust it, I don't know, see, uh, look in this window right here, it's going to tell you how many cents, one cent equals a semitone, like I said, you better know your music if you want to get into this, and now I just moved up two keys on the piano. And basically now, I can just go from there and drop in different samples uh, of, of drum hits and I'm saying also make sure that uh, you right click give it to a free track and boom you you in business All right so hopefully you know you learned a little something here um, on how to uh, sample and I wish y'all the best of luck in your musical endeavors um, follow me like I said uh, at PB the producer or um, you can also go to pbtheproducer.blogspot.com, all right? And, um, yeah, get to them sampling, all right?